Hello, and welcome back to another MATLAB video. Today we're talking about some of the advanced functions and methods for working with timestamp tabular data via a timetable. As many MATLAB users know, data of this fashion is common in an assortment of real-world applications. A timetable in MATLAB is an array of information from any number of data types, all attached to timestamp metadata. For more information on the basics of creating and using a timetable, check out the Timetables Basics video. Here, we will cover methods of synchronizing data to common times, interpolating data to regularly spaced intervals, and using the group star family of functions. Here, we have a second timetable with nearly identical time metadata, but unique data regarding the flow of bike traffic. Synchronize is a function that matches data from two timetables to a common time vector, and resamples or aggregates data from said timetables. For example, we can synchronize these two data sets into one table to produce an hourly count. isMissing is a function that returns an array of logical values, indicating whether a data entry exists in a given field. RemoveMissing can remove any entry that has an empty data field, while FillMissing fills missing entries with a constant value or an interpolated one. Retime allows you to resample or aggregate data in a timetable to a uniform time interval, and allows you to resolve duplicate or irregular intervals. Using Retime, you can specify what time interval you'd like to retime to, and by what method you'd like to interpolate between values. The group star family of functions allows us to work with and apply analysis to data while leaving said data inside the timetable. Here, we are looking at a timetable comprised of data regarding thunderstorms. Group summary returns a data summary of a specified entry. Group count computes the number of data entries in totality or in a specified time range. Group transform can apply a specific transform to a set of data entries. In this example, we have added the days of the week to our thunderstorm data. Group filter filters data entries to fit under a given constraint. Here, we have filtered our table to only include entries in which the precipitation was between 1 and 2 centimeters. For more information on group star functions, check out the documentation page. In this video, we have discussed advanced functions and methods for working with timestamp tabular data via a timetable. Now that we have a better understanding of the advanced tools available to us, we can use these data arrays more efficiently and effectively. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video.